already own several leather holsters from craft holsters but today i'm going to talk a little bit about this old school basket weave style holster for my ruger blackhawk so let's go what's up crew it's chris with clover tack welcome back to the channel and here it is my old school style ruger blackhawk single action in uh, what i would consider an old school style uh, leather holster now craft holsters i believe they use uh, a fairly high grade italian leather with all their holsters uh, and a fairly high grade german thread for the stitching and if you ever lay hands on and you ever look at the craftsmanship the work the stitching on these holsters it is pretty darn solid for sure uh, this holster, of course, the basket weave print on the front, fairly old school, going to be smooth on the back, really no need for uh, a leather holster to have that print on the back. Nobody's going to see it, right? It is a standard or what I would consider a fairly standard snap style thumb break, and it breaks really clean. It snaps back really well. Uh, the revolver comes out of the holster fairly quickly, uh, which is great. Going back in, not necessarily as fast because uh, you've got to pull this strap out, of course, make sure it gets behind that hammer and then snap it back in place. But most holsters you'll find they don't reholster as easily as uh, drawing uh, out of the holster. Now, as far as the fit, this revolver fits this holster very well. But with other holsters, you definitely want to break them in. I had to do that with my other craft uh holsters leather holsters and this one was no exception craft makes that easy they do have a break-in kit uh, that you can use if you're not already familiar with the, the breaking in process of a leather holster already and yes we are going to go down range and put some rounds on steel with this ruger blackhawk uh, here in a second but uh, one last thing to mention is the belt loop on the back now i'm a big fan of an inch and three quarter width belt but with most leather holsters, I find that uh, they're designed more for an inch and a half width belt. So if you can cram your inch and three quarter through this, it's going to be really tight. Uh, if you're like me and you like an inch and three quarter belt, just keep in mind, you may have to pick up another belt to use with your leather holster. And I think that pretty much covers it on this holster. Let's get down range and put some rounds on steel. Before live fire, safety is always first. Got my eyes on, let me get my ears in and we'll make this happen. Let's put some rounds on steel. I'm about 15 yards back. Got one of our six inch steel gongs down there. Ruger Blackhawk in 357. We're gonna fire this thing, six shots obviously. It is a six shooter, but we're gonna fire this thing old school, one handed the way that handguns were intended to be fired. Here we go. And there you go, like all of my other craft holster leather holsters. I like this one. Uh, I think the design of it, I think that basket weave print, the fit, just everything works well with this Ruger Blackhawk. And this Ruger Blackhawk, one of my favorite revolvers for sure. If you want to check out some of the other leather holsters I have from craft holsters, well, I've got you some videos right here. As for this one, we're done. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.